are all doing well today we'll start a quick um, look at the topic actually it's not a topic actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a series of uh, uh, series of demo about uh, about um, performing the exercises in automatic Kotlin course so I'm uh, in this tutorial series I will be trying to um, uh, uh, go through all these exercises and I will be doing it by all by myself and um, yeah uh, so I have been using it and doing it recently and I really like it and I think it will really help you guys to understand more about Kotlin and to know more about this if you enjoy such kind of content please consider subscribing it and let's get right into it without wasting any time and I'm gonna uh, go through it okay so actually so this is the automatic kotlin course that i'm following and i will be doing all these exercises and um, let's go it one by one so actually here is the um, in this description section of your um, intellij ide that uh, this is an intellij ide and like um, i have um, just um, uh, installed an intellij ide for for the course okay and um, yeah actually so let's go through this uh, task uh, one by one so uh, the task says that hello world modify the previous exercise by commenting the line and display displays hello verify the line is very executed so I will be just commenting it out and just checking if it is okay and like the IntelliJ ID will, will automatically like verify it and uh, as you can see here it says congratulation so let's go to the next exercise uh, so IDE run so it is a powerful tool that allows you to carry out the common actions of an efficient way running the main functions in the example as such as action so an action and IntelliJ IDE allows you to do that by uh, pressing a shortcut a shortcut is a special key combination that courses that causes a specific command to be executed throughout this course you learn common shortcuts like uh, is a keyboard centric idea which means you can perform all actions using only the keyboard we recommend learning to do with the keyboard click on the action see a function to see the shortcut used by the operation system to run the main the key combination appears right after the run task kt as you can see here uh, is a shift r right to run so if you press shift i mean like a control R. as you can see it's uh, just building process finished so yeah the main action as you can see the shortcut is all just provided here right run the task with uh, this command in in iOS you have um, this um, control now right so let's check and done so let's go next uh, so there are uh, different control like commands like mastering the ID basic editing you can use typical operating system shortcuts uh, performing basic editing so uh, as you can see here record copy paste undo you know all these are simple shortcuts of the selection right move uh, the end uh, and move to the start okay and uh, we also finish this one well and bar so what is this about well and bar okay so uh, examples apply accomplying the atom read bar and val atom online okay so uh, actually let's run this code uh, output should be 11 i 1.4 t was building so actually it's var is like mutable right mutable uh, variable so that means it's pretty much mutable so 11 is mutated to like the whole is 11 fraction is 1.4 words is yeah pretty much that was what uh, was done so now let's go define a val answer and set the value to 42 
okay so now let's go to the coding uh, answer and set it to 42 uh, display the value on the console so it's a print ln in the console so answer okay and what else on the next line try to reassign answer to 43 and answer equals to 43 and let's run what the error says error says that val cannot be reassigned as you can see that we have to change it to a bar because uh, val is is not uh, is a immutable right so that's the problem and uh, so to make it mutable we have to just use var right to make it mutable so now everything works uh, new value in answer of the console so let's print the new uh, value that is 40 answer uh, actually you know what we have to do uh, let's print it out here and uh, so let's run it so let's check it uh, expected 42 and 33 so actually mm, uh, yeah he was already saying Sir, okay so now let's run it again and check it yeah this is correct so yeah that's it so define a bar a so now let's go to the next task number two uh, bar a equals to 10 now define a val b equals to b equals to a and uh, now assign 42 to a a equals to 42 and display both a and b on different line print ln a print ln b so let's see what's gonna run forty two and ten so let's check it correct okay so let's go to the next one define two bar s uh, x and y okay and swap this contents first try x equals to y uh, uh, and then fix the error solution okay so perform swap here so uh, x equals to y uh, and print uh, so let's see what it runs here code first remain on change for different is like bar x mm -mm -mm -mm. Your code should remain unchanged for different initials like bar x equals first, y equals to second, then use x equals to two, y equals to one is not the expected solution. Okay, so let's go for the humanly dangerous uh, third auxiliary error. So that was the answer. So let's uh, 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 initialize well zero. So uh, let's in slice z equals to x and now x equals to y and y equals to x right y equals to not x but z because x is already changed uh, let's change it to also bar uh, okay so i think this is gonna work And this is a code to swap. Uh, as you can see now, it's uh, swapped, right? X has become two because previously it was one, and 
y has become one uh, go to swap uh, intro introducing a new bar z right so let's check it okay cool i think we have uh, fixed this problem also mastering the tools project window shows uh, the course structure on the left and the task window on the right and called by the tool windows you can ad adjust the size uh, you can adjust the size by checking the boundary and moving it you can temporarily hide the tool window from the view to make better use of the screen click the hide button in the top right corner of the tool window to see it again uh, right and choose its name by clicking on the left on the side of the screen on choosing it in view tool windows application menu so if you see view tool windows you can pretty much uh, uh, see okay uh, you can show and hide right different sections here hide the task tool window and then open it again task tool window tools uh, uh, okay uh, where is the view uh, tool window where is the task okay and uh, view and uh, tool window task so it again so check it done and let's go to the next one the final task is uh, the icons on the top of the project tool window perform several convenient operations for example you can locate the currently open file in the project by clicking on the select open file icons so project uh, the icons on the top of the project window so let's go to the project window okay uh, tool window by clicking on the select open file icon uh, okay project tool window by clicking there on the select open file icon F for example you can locate the currently open file in the project tool window by clicking the select open file icons uh, okay where is this select open file icons okay so this is the select open file icon as you can see now i can specifically locate the uh, specific file right press the collapse all button on the project tool window to uh, collapse all i can find the collapse all uh, expand all collapse all so this is the collapse all one expand all collapse all and and go to the selected uh, open file right this is the open file and that's it guys okay guys so i think i just want to wrap up my tutorial here and i will be continuing with my second um, series i mean the second chapter i mean the second video uh, following with the data types exercise so uh, i'm gonna wrap up right now and catch you in the second video catch you up later guys enjoy see you until the next one and thank you very much for watching